Hello everybody and welcome back to Willow Wire. Today we are playing Dust. I already recorded an episode just a, about an hour ago or so. Oops. Oh. <laughs> I recorded about an hour ago, and uh, yeah, uh, apparently I should probably heal. Why do I have mushrooms equipped? I don't need that. Okay, for one, keep that, and go back to my mysterious wall chickens. There we go. And we're going to eat that, and we're going to. Can I jump over you? Man, I really don't. I am horrible at countering. I hate it so bad. And we're going to start off like this. This is nuts. Alright, alright, alright. Why do I suck at parrying so bad? Why? How is that not a parry? There, I got him. I hate parrying so freaking bad. Still no wall climb, still no crawly crawl. There we go. I could probably get up on that other side if I really wanted to by using enemies, but I don't want to do that badly. I haven't spent any money since I started this game so far. But we should be getting really close to another important scene. Another important segment of the game. Oh god! Wow, that was pure luck. There was no skill there. That was all 100% luck. I had no idea he was there. Now that I look at that, I should probably equip another food. Anything up here? Oh. Ow. That was just rude. How about up here? Anything up in this area? No? Alright, no problem. Got hit by that one. Oh, another blueprint. That's pretty convenient. That was unexpected. I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> uh, more defense. You can't kill what you can't hurt. Oh god, where you going? I don't know what it is about those bugs. I don't know if they're strong or not, but they freak me out every time. And I'm not even, you know, afraid of bugs or anything. Don't like bugs. But I don't think most people like bugs. Sheep. 
How would I get in there? There is another passage to go there. Maybe you gotta go from somewhere else. It's a glowy sheep, though. At least one of them is healing. Ow. What is this? You've been poisoned. When you're poisoned, your life slowly drains down into nothing. If you don't take care of it soon, death is inevitable. Hmm. I can probably just wait it out. Stop pretending you're so tough. Here, take this mushroom. It'll stop the poison for now. You can thank me later. This place is a madhouse. But they're not acting explosively like he said. Just annoyingly. Okay, that was irritating. But hey, I'm almost full health now. Hey, look who it is! So, you have slain the one known as Fuse. I had no choice. He lost his mind and murdered many innocents. I am not judging, friend. His death was sad, but necessary. Forgive me for asking, but are you a Moonblood? The Moonbloods, they are an ancient race, and their presence is not tolerated in these lands. One would be at a disadvantage among so many warm-blooded creatures. I understand. I believe you do not, my friend. But I will not press the matter if you do not. I'm assuming that he is a uh, Moonblood. I can get six keys now. Ooh, I got new stuff. Hound hide. Hound's teeth. Squirt bug arm. Hmm. And trolk shell. Ah, oh, those things. All right. That's cool. Alright, alright, let's check something. Oh my word, what's going on here? Hey, calm yourself. Why are you jumping like that? Jeez, um. So, what in the world? Okay, I'm not gonna use the D pad. Apparently, my D pad's acting up on this controller. So, that'll go up one and up two. That'll go up ten for attack. So, Ring of the Miner, $2,000. I don't even have, like, I never even found that specific one. Okay, so these are all pretty good. That would go down two, but that would go up ten. That would go down two, and that down one, but that would go up twelve. Eh, I think this one's better. But I need another one of those. I'll get one of those on my own. I ain't gonna buy one of those. My wetsuit's definitely better. This is the only better one, it's that flax sheath thingy. 
up 10 and up 3 that's not bad and I can make it sweet and now it's a quit I don't know if there's a point in making all of those or not there might be I ain't gonna bother right now you know money wise and all that save for ring of the miner oh god I need a save point save point here. Wait, those are the save point thingies. Maybe I'm wrong about how this works. I thought the circles were the save points. I think my... I can move with the D-pad. I think my D-pad is acting up and causing problems. I might have to clean that out later. I never actually had that kind of a problem with the, uh, with Xbox controllers before. That was new to me. Considering how many years I've had an Xbox, uh, 360 that is. I think it would have Kim Bop. Must be Sushi. Sushi on the Shisho. No, I have to say, for being on tough, it's really not that bad compared to what I expected. The first time I played this game, it was a lot harder. And obviously, you know, experience does in fact make you better, and age can definitely help as well. Because I was a lot younger when I first did this too, so my experience with games was a lot lower. But still, I honestly thought it would... Oh, I can't go through there. No. Oh, whew. <laughs> Picking on little ones, huh? You will most definitely regret meeting me. Keep wary of the bubble sprouts, dog. Oh my god, there's two of them. expect to survive that. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to heal. There we go. At least healing the poison also goes and uh, heals my health. We'll save. And there should be... Oh, who's up here? I want to sell him my giant's toe so that I can get more... I think it was giant's toe. I want to sell him that so I can get more the next time I see him. I'm going to need it.
Your transaction. There we go. I wonder how many there actually are. If you really want to, you could always wait around a really long time and get uh, fully healed by the glowing green ones. I ain't got no time for you guys. Oh, fine, whatever. You want to play that badly. There. Now you're dead. Oh, well, now I got more of these guys. Jeez, um, I got a gamer picture. How? I've already beaten this game before. How did I not get a gamer picture prior to this? I only got one achievement left, and that's to beat the game on tough. I didn't think those monsters were smart enough to build a pen. I certainly didn't. Let's hop on over. <laughs> Oh, she's a sweet old soul. 
lives deep in the caves, makes the waters flow. She doesn't show herself around here too often, and we can't actually go see her on account of all the nasties living between here and there. In that case, I'll go speak with this lady and see why she stops the flow of water. You do that? This can't all just be a coincidence. The attacks on the surface, your wells drying up. I'm certain this lady must know something about what's going on. Well then, I had you folks pegged all wrong. If you ain't to help my husband, I promise not to clock you with my wooden spoon of justice. Um, thanks. So, you're heading down to talk to the lady now? You'll help my pa? We'll do our best, Bopo. Just don't go running off again. You got my word. Okay then. Oh, I can go in. Bopo, oh Bopo. Oh, it's. Ugh, it's a pretty kitty cat. What? Me? It's a flying cat. Oh. She's not a cat, little girl. She's a. Oh, I don't even know what she is. I'm not a cat, you dolt. I'm a nimbat. Is that what you're called? A nimbat? Yeah, hello. My name's Fidget. Maybe we've met? Can I hold it? I want it. Gosh, do something! It's trying to grab me with its little child hands. Don't worry, Fidget. Sorry, um, um what's your name? Smobop. He. <laughs> well, Smobop, I'm sorry, but as much as she might look like one, Fidget is not a toy. Hey! Oh, I want her! She talks! I'll trade you. Look, I've got this box thing. Hey, Dust, look. That must be Reed's box. Hmm. Tell you what. Next time I go to the surface, I'll see if I can find a suitable replacement. Then we'll trade. Phew. Good idea, Dust. You know, that shop in Arona had some things. Maybe the shopkeeper could figure something out for us? Yeah. Maybe he can make us some kind of fidget doll for her. After all, she's far too young to take care of a pet like you. <laughs> yeah, way too much responsibility for... Hey! <laughs> I can't remember if you have the choice of opening Reed's box or not. I kind of want to know what's in there. Well, hi there, big fella. My here in the local gossip right? You and your flying mongoose are going to save her village? What the heck is a mongoose? Quiet, Fidget. And yes, you've heard correctly. Is this the way to the lady's chamber? <laughs> well, yeah, but I don't think you're going to fit through this here hole in the wall. We had to close up the passage recently to keep those crazed nematodes from coming out and attacking the village. What the heck is a nematode? Anyway, seems to me the only way you're getting through is by sliding. I can't get through myself, but, you know, I got these fat little legs, and they hardly keep me vertical. I appreciate the thought, but I'll find another way around. Here, boy, take this red resonance jam. It'll open up the basement, and maybe you'll find a better way down there. Just make sure to avoid impaling yourself on them spike of rocks and thorns. Wait, hmm. your underground cave has a basement? How does that make any sense? Hey, big fella. What do you say to me serving your flying rat a big old jug of shut-up juice? <laughs> While you're down there, why don't you make yourself useful and collect me my hidden stick? Your what? You see, I use this here stick to do my hitting, but I lost her in the basement, and I'm honestly just too gale darn lazy like to go looking for it on my own. They don't have me standing around here for my good looks after all. <laughs> Someone's got to defend this here hole. All right, Blop. If I should come across your hidden stick, I'll be sure to pick it up. Okay, then. All kinds of pla people and places here. Hello, dear. I'm going to hazard a guess that you're the outsider in town. I stand out that much, huh? Well, it's been years since I've seen someone like you. And it's been maybe 30 years since I've seen a nimbat like your friend here. What a treat. 
Maybe you don't like going into caves. You know, the dark, the grand spaces. Can you look any less gloomy than sunlight, poor Heather? I'm sorry. Look at me going on. My name is Flo Hop, and my husband Gappy is up there in the pen minding the sheep. He's been so overworked that I was hoping to make it his favorite stew. But to be honest, I'm having trouble growing red moss with the wells running dry. I think I might have gone and made my last stew. I could always help you find some of that red moss, if you like. Oh, I couldn't bother you for something as silly as that. I know where they used to grow, but with all these monsters about, I dare not leave Mudpot. It's no trouble, really. If I come across any, I'll bring them to you. Well, aren't you a sweet one? Red moss clumps grow at the base of the large red mushrooms, and they tend to prefer perfect darkness. Just don't hurt yourself on my account. In fact, take this ring. It'll provide a little bit of light in the darkest of places. Hmm. Oh, leveled up. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Let's go with more defense, because I'm crazy! Crazy defended. Oh my word. Well, good evening, youngin. I hear the two of you are helping out Pope Pop. He's in a bad way. Excuse me, my friends. Hope you don't mind, but I gotta get back to searching. Did you lose something? Actually, I did. I must have left the gate open because my flock of sheep seems to have gone astray. I'm afraid some of them may have gone past the edge of town. I'll keep my eyes open for them. Well, thank you, son. There's six of them out there somewhere. Believe you me, they're in for a good talking to when I get my hands on them. Well, I found one of them. Okay, so that's another slide. At least I've almost got the slide now. That'll come in handy. Boom, boom. Okay. So where... Oh wait, I could probably... Oh, my character's going on his own. Going all on his own. All right, hang on one second. Ah! Just gonna swap the controller. If I swap the controller over, then I shouldn't have that problem. The only reason I switched controllers is because the batteries died, and the other one already had batteries in it. So I was like, oh well, might as well use it. There we go. Hey, look, I got one of the sheep. Fidget in my inventory. Wait, where am I? I found an exit. Makes me quite curious. If I get rid of that, I bet you the water starts back up. All right, I need to go back to Aurora Village for two reasons that I had completely forgotten about originally. I need to go and give the guy the letter, and I gotta go and do the whole shop thingy and talk to him. Ah, Dust. Thank you again for your help. How's your leg doing? I think I'll be all right. Just need some time to think. Is all. Is there anything else? Sounds like you've got something on your mind. It's not obvious, eh? Very well. I haven't told them neither. But I do believe I lost my pocket watch when those giants attacked us. Hmm. And it's valuable? To me, yes. To the both of us, really. It was a wedding gift from my father. In fact, it's really the only thing we have to remember him by. I think I may have dropped it outside the farm. 
just before those creatures chased us back here. If I learned the way it is, you really can't be out looking for it. I'll go take a look. Thank you, Dust. Really, you don't know how much this means to me. All right, I guess we'll go do that first. Oh, it's a new one. It's a whole new place. Those monsters really tore the place apart. Hey, Fidget, can you use that sixth sense of yours to find Guillen's watch? Hmm, yeah, actually. I'm getting something from down that big scary hole in the ground. Why is it always a big scary hole in the ground? I'll have to get back to you on that, Fidget. In the meantime, we should clear it out for Gion and Oneida. Oh, that worked. I don't have any keys. So now there's two chests that I can't open. I need to be able to slide and to blow that up. I guess I don't have to slide. Oh, come on. Oh, wait. I messed up. There we go. Wall chicken. More wall chicken. And more wall chicken. I don't want to go down the scary hole yet. Unexpected. Why is it so difficult to go and get a pocket watch? Ugh. This is way more difficult than I feel it should be. That was way harder than it needed to be. For a freaking pocket watch. Uh, Alright, so. Now I just need a key. If I can get a key, then I can go open up that chest. Another mission down. 
You found it! Oh, this is the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Well, um, we did say goodbye, remember? Yes, well, I meant aside from that. Thank you so much, you two. I have little to offer in return, but here, take this set of treasure keys. Thank you, Guillaume. I'm glad we were able to be of service. <sighs> Having this pocket watch back puts my mind at ease. Thanks, Dust. Sweet. Now we're gonna go open that chest. I'm just glad that so far we have not had to go and buy any keys. We've just been able to find them. It's quite nice. So the glade's still not done, but I think we need to be able to climb for that one. Okay, we'll start off here again. Because I think the other dude is also on this side. I don't think we need to worry about them. Another moment with the Philosopher King himself. Why don't you bother Augustine or some other such buffoon? You don't need to ask me twice. We're leaving. Okay. There you are. <sighs> Mosca, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh? Is everything all right? We traveled to Denim. It's been burned to the ground. What? Oh... No. No, no, no! But there was a note. It's addressed to you. From somebody named Sarahi. Sarahi? Oh, thank goodness. She must be alive. She must have escaped. Please, let me see it. What do you think, Mosca? She mentions a place that only the two of us know about. It's a hidden cove not far from here. Please, Dust, go there and see if she's safe. I'll be following, but I'm no fighter. If you insist on coming along, be sure to keep your distance. Yeah, when Dust starts swinging that sword, you don't want to be anywhere near him. If you see him a scream, he just goes... <laughs> Frickin' fourth wall breaker. Alright, to the store. We got a new region. I'm certain I could craft one for you, assuming I had the proper materials. Let me see. With some cotton fabric and dye, I'm certain I could make a wonderful Nimbat doll for you. I gotta say, Dust, I'm feeling a little uneasy about this whole thing. What's to feel uneasy about, Fidget? You're adorable. I think I might have him make another Fidget doll that I'll just hang on to. Excellent. You've brought all the materials. Would you like me to make the doll now? Wonderful. Now, if your companion will just lie down on this fabric. Hey, you're not tracing me. Oh, well, I do need some sort of measurement. <laughs> we don't see many nimbats around here. Here, give me a pen. I'll draw it myself. Okay, there. Done. See how well I captured every nuance, sir? Oh. Uh... See, you can use this to measure your doll. It's perfect. <laughs> no, it really isn't. Actually, that's the worst drawing I've ever seen. Just shut up and make this stupid doll. Okay, okay. Just give me a moment. Uh, some cotton here. Some stitches there. Uh, maybe a little more cotton up there in the head area. I don't think you're accurately capturing the pure size of Stitch's head. My head is 
just fine. You're the ones wearing those stupid hats. Maybe you two could form a stupid hat club. And voila, another happy customer. And I even had enough material to make an extra one. No, I wasn't expecting to actually get one. I guess I'll just have to carry it around. Forever. I actually feel bad giving one of these ugly things to Smobop, but here we go. I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> Wow, that was hilarious. Okay, so we should have all the missions here completed except for the one. Hey, who are you? Oh, hi. You're new. Are you travelers? Maybe See your eyes through your hair. I can't find my little brother, Corbin. He's not in the village? No, he's not here. I can't find him, and I've looked absolutely everywhere. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye out for him. What's your name? My name is Colleen. Oh, I wonder if he left the village. He could get hurt. Calm down, Colleen. I'll look for him. Where did you see him last? I think he was doing something for Mr. Gianni. But whenever I ask him about Corbin, he says he's too busy. I really don't like that guy. Gianni, huh? Okay, wait here. If he finds Corbin, please bring him home. I'm really getting worried about him. That sounds horrible. I'm pretty sure in uh, real life that guy would be going to jail for suspicion. I didn't even know that mission was there. I've probably done it in the past, but I've forgotten all about it. Hang on, Reed. I'm almost ready for you. I got a cinnamon bun. Oh, my word. Why do I run so slow? Gianni, I want to ask you about a boy named Corbin. Ah, have you seen him? Where has that foolish boy run off to? I was hoping you could tell me. He must still be wasting time in Ivydale Glen. I just knew I shouldn't have trusted that boy cleaning my fabrics. Corbin is doing your laundry outside the village? I do not see why this is so difficult to comprehend. But then I suppose you don't have the capacity for rational thought. If you are so concerned, maybe you should go look for him instead of waffling about. Oh, I'll find him. Then we're going to have a little chat. Hmm. All right, so now uh, I'm going to go this way simply because I need to get to that uh, dude in the front. I might have the materials now that I've gone and done some battling, but I did just use some as well. I don't remember what he wanted. I think it was imp feet. Or hide. I don't know. All I know is I didn't have it the last time I talked to him. Almost there. Please, I'll keep my eyes. Nope. Watch him. Still don't got it. All right. So Aurora's got one more chest. I still need to do the slidey thingy. We'll go to the Ivydale Glen because I think that'll be an easier mission. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to come here a long time ago. There's a treasure chest here. Oh, I forgot about those! Okay, well, at least I blew up. Oh, there's a key. There's a couple keys. And I need the slidey thingy. Hey, are you here to help me? 
Really? Tell me you're here to help me. Let me guess. You're Corbin? You know your sister's been looking everywhere for you. I had to hide in here with all those monsters around. Well, they're all gone, so you should be safe now. Are you hurt? Do you need help getting back home? I'm okay, I think. I know how to get home by myself. I come here lots, but there were never any monsters. You'd better go while it's clear out there. I still need to get Mr. Johnny's laundry. I dropped it down there, and I don't want to get in trouble. No, Corbin, you go home. I'll take care of it. Oh, wow, thanks. Here, take this. You'll need it if you go down there. A white resonance chip. Hmm. That should come in handy. Thank you. Now, go on. Hurry back to town. Now I got four resonance gems. Seriously? We're going after that jerk's laundry? We're going on a laundry quest? I wouldn't want Gianni blaming that poor kid for what's happened. Come on, we'll kill some monsters on the way. It'll be great. Alright, is my item gone? Thought I got rid of my stuff. Oh, save point. That's not a good, a uh, good sign. Is there something up there? Oh, there is. Got his laundry. Well, here's where Corbin drops the basket. Might as well return it for him. Do you mind eyes to seize me? Or do they accidentally drop it near a poison ivy bush? Fidget, what's going on in that twisted little brain of yours? Nothing, nothing. I'm just saying, wouldn't it be a shame if some poison ivy fell into his basket? You know, completely by accident. Or, you know, not. You are positively evil, Fidget. But... Good, good. This will show that meanie not to push poor little kids around. You said it. But remember, if we get caught, I'm going to blame you. Fine, whatever. With pleasure. That meanie. He's just lucky I don't put clothes on his face. What? You know, it's like he didn't pay the mortgage on his face. Then I bite it off. For clothes. Okay, never mind. It probably wasn't the good guy choice. But I don't care. I'm not always the good guy. Boom boom my boom boom. Dang it, I gotta go all the way back up there. Wall chicken. those things. I don't see any more. Weird my Whoa! Oh cool. So wait. There's multiple ways of doing it? If I'm looking at that correctly, because I just for some strange reason decided to Flip and flop it all over there, and yet, huh? Why well, I'm a little confused by that. Why would it have a little slidey thingy if you were supposed to fly? Don't get it. 
Hundred percent. All right, do the hidden code. Oh wait, no wait, we gotta. Uh, we'll do the hidden code first. Still got ten minutes left. This episode's gone fast. Ah, I can't do the hidden code. All right, Giovanni, it is. Uh, I don't think it matters which one I go to. For a kid like you. And don't worry about Gianni. I'll sort him out. Yeah, like the laundry. <sighs> yes, Fidget. Like the laundry. Okay, okay. Thanks again. You know, you're a pretty good fighter. Well, I. You're so strong. I'll bet you'd have no problem getting a 1,000 hit combo. <laughs> of course he wouldn't. He could do it in his sleep. Sleep combo! Fidget, calm down! Whoa! Do you really think you could do it? A 1,000 hit combo? Sure, why not? Oh, wow! Awesome! Hey, when you hit for the 1,000th time, you should say, This one's for Corbin! Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. But I'll try to get the combo just for you. Well, at least I know I can do that. Thank you so much for bringing Corbin back. I'll make sure he doesn't run off again. Well, don't be too rough on him, Colleen. He's been through a lot. Take care now. All right. Now, where is that Giovanni? Don't worry, Reed. Still working on it. Let's talk. Would you mind telling me why you have a child running errands outside the village with monsters around? Well, I certainly can't be running around outside myself. Those monsters, they are dangerous. So, where is that Corbin brat? He's lucky I'm a patient tonight. I didn't report his laundry thievery to the guards. Well, after rescuing him, we sent him back to the village. Rescuing him, you say? Is he all right? Yes, he'll be fine. A bit shaken up, but... Fine, fine. And uh, what of my laundry? Surely, after all that time he spent out there, it must be cleaned by now. Yeah, Gianni, here. Take your laundry. But you're never going to ask Corbin to leave the village again. Do you understand? Um, well, when you put it so threateningly, I suppose I have little choice in the matter. Good. For your sake, you should hope we don't have to talk again. Believe me, I will avoid it if I can help. You know what? I'm going to hate this guy. And I would just love to mow his face off. Matters, Fidget. It's what separates us from the animals. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> is something wrong? Oh, everything is on fire! This is agony! Agony! Well, maybe having a poor, defenseless boy wash your laundry way out in the woods isn't agreeing with you. Go, boy! Go! Just leave me alone! Let me agonize in peace! <laughs> I feel no guilt. Alright, so, we're running out of time, so we're gonna quickly go and deliver that box. Do that we gotta get to the thingy so we can teleport i don't want to walk there because that's a really really long way to walk okay where was that was it here it must be yeah and then we'd go downward Oh, there's enemies. Oh, he's dead. Oh, 
to figure out where that thing is. Uh, do I just talk to him and give it to him? Like, how does that work? Uh, that's fine, whatever. Let's go get the box. Oh, too far. Hang on. Fidget and her have the same voice. Alright, we got four minutes left. We can do this. Let's go get the... Oop. <laughs> There's a clip there. Oh dear god. We're at a save point. That's never good. Oh, look at that. Giant toes. I don't know how many I need though. Thank you. So let's go into the thingy. Go to was it here? Yes, I need two toes and five more claws. Then again, I don't know if I really want to do that. I'll just sell. I don't like buying things. Okay, I don't have anything to sell. Does this show what I have on already? There's no wet suit, so it must. It must be that right there. Yep, so that's what I got on. Hmm. Oh well. Lots of spoiks. Lots of spoiks. Ouch. I hit a spoik. Why are there so many spoiks? Look before you leap. That was close. No more bloops. She be. Ow. I thought I could make it. see that one. Okay, well I found a save point. I don't know what that bomb was for, but I found a save point. by this area. I can't... What? What happened? What? Why 
is it all red? What, where am I? What is going on? And why is there such a gust of wind down here? There's so many little slidey poles. Finally. We finally made it. Coming back for that creature crate is going to be a pain. Maybe it was down here. Can't go up there. So confused. I did want to go that way. Okay. This was not the place I thought it was. Stupid thing. Jeez, um. that was a little ridiculous. No. Okay, do I have any keys at all? I think it would be under this. I have three keys. I'm pretty sure I need four. I'll skip ahead until I get into there because I don't want to make you guys have to watch all that again. Okay, I made it. Nope, it takes four keys no matter what. That head looks familiar though. I wonder if that's from a game that I've seen. Alright, I'll probably go buy a key and come back. Maybe. So this might be a little bit long of an episode. Okay, we're back over here. Save again. Oops, wasn't paying attention. All right, well, we're gonna call this good here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, it's not gonna be a long episode because I'm, I'm just gonna cut it here because I just realized how far back he actually is. So, if you guys have enjoyed this, hit that like, subscribe button, and stay tuned for the next episode where we open up another one of those crates. Bye!